I'll share with you this morning or this afternoon, whatever time it is. Yeah, afternoon. <laughs> I want to share with you what I actually do to psych myself up, but also to remind myself that I can do it, that I have a purpose, that I must continue on. You know, it's all up here, but if you don't know, if you don't know that, you're going to end up doing the same old things like you did the year before or five years ago, and you're going to end up getting the same exact results. So you've got to make a difference in your life. You've got to change a little bit more in your mindset. And let me help you with some of the things that I have personally learned and some of the things that I write over here in my whiteboard. Hey everybody, Eddie Zand here. Happy day today. And 2019 is definitely going to be the time where you need to go to the next level. Next level in your business, next level in your personal self-development. Uh, anything that you want to improve, 2019 is the year to make that happen. But I will tell you this, and I'm here to remind you that it takes a mindset. A mindset to succeed. A mindset that says, I'm never going to give up. A mindset that does different things to expect different results. So let's see if I can get a good shot here. There we go. All right. Strength. Strength is perfected in weakness. That, I've, I've got to remind myself about that because I don't know about you, but I don't like being weak. You know what I'm saying? I don't like having those days that I feel like, darn it, I failed. I basically wish that everything I did was perfect <laughs> and that it was successful. But that's not life, my friends. That's not life, right? Life is getting up from those failures. Life is learning from your weakness. So you may get stronger. And that is why that is one of the first things I, I've got to remind myself all right, I've got to remind myself that strength is perfected in weakness. So I become strong when I keep going forward. I become strong when I rely not on just my own power, but on the power of faith, on the power of our creator. You know, you've got to, you've got to rely on an outer source because, friend, you can't do it by yourself. Now, the next one is stop trying to make it right the first time. Look at this. That one right there. Okay. This one is huge for me because, okay, let, let me ask you this question. Do you guys ever feel like you do something and you don't want to make a mistake? Ever felt like that before? It, it happens to me a lot. All right. Maybe you're not that type of person, right? Maybe you're not the type of personality that I am. But I will tell you this, stop, look right there, stop trying to get it right the first time. Work, work on something, right? Whatever project you have, do it, get it out there, and then fix it as you go on. The best example I can give you is, uh, there was a coffee shop nearby me that uh, almost about eight months ago, they opened up didn't have much coffee uh, options. It was just another coffee shop. And practically I'm thinking, why are you guys opening if Starbucks is down the road? They had signs about coffee on cardboard. Yeah. Like, you know how the you can get a big cardboard piece of cardboard and write with a black uh, uh, marker. That's what they had now. They've got a beautiful sign on the wall of the building, beautiful lights outside, very inviting, and they have a, a lot more options of coffees and you basically have an experience in there, right? But what did they do? They didn't, they didn't stop by making it right the first time. They just said, let's open and make it better as we go on. That's the attitude you wanna have. The other thing is make mistakes, make many mistakes. The quicker you make mistakes, especially in your business venture, 
the quicker you make mistakes, the faster you'll find out what doesn't work and you'll make it better. Make a mistake is part of life. My, my children, two girls, they're growing up now and I can see a lot of times, you know, they fail at a lot of things, right? They, they some of the things that we ask them to do, some of the things that they don't, don't want to do. And it, it gets tiring a lot of times to say, oh my God, you know, repeat the same thing over and over. But they're succeeding because they're failing a lot and they're making a lot of mistakes. But because they're making mistakes, we as parents, my wife and I as parents, are able to guide them in the right direction. And so they're learning what's right by making mistakes. Okay, so the next thing, fail forward fast. This is totally Joey. So Joey Ragona, right? He, uh, if you don't know anything about him, just go check him out. Uh, I'll probably leave a link here somewhere to his Facebook uh, page. You'll find out more about him. But uh, dude is like the, the, the clarity master, okay? Like every time we have a conversation, yeah, and we're good friends and, you know, like we just talk and every time we have a conversation, I'm, I always leave with something. And he is good at pinpointing what I need to get done. When I get overwhelmed, he's like, whoosh, here it is, do this. I'm like, oh my goodness, I knew it was there. And, you know, I just couldn't see it because he's really good at that, you know. Uh, so anyway, so he... um created, or I, I will say the way he puts it, how about that? The way he puts it is to fail forward fast. And I was like, what do you mean to fail forward fast? Like, you know, and it makes sense. So this is what I wrote and often, right? Because when you fail, when you fail a lot and very often, you're going to start making more money. I have failed a lot and income keeps going based on my failures. So opportunities keep showing up based on my failures. So in a way, you need to fail a lot in order to succeed. Without failure, there's no success. That's how it works. Life works like that. Remember, be strong, even in your times of weakness, strength, is how you're going to get through it. Stop trying to make things right the first time. Stop doing that. Don't do that. Make mistakes often. Find out what works, what doesn't work quickly so you can fix it and then fail forward fast. All right? Fail, fail a lot. Don't be afraid. Just go after it. Have some calculated risks, but go after it. Because listen, in life, as I'm going through it, I'm telling you, it's all about taking that extra step, a little bit of that risk, more risk, bigger steps. And before you know it, you will reach your ultimate outcome. You will be fulfilling your purpose in your life. And in the same time, at the same time, you'll be helping a lot of people along the way that are waiting for you to reach your goals, your success, so that you can help them reach out and extend a hand to pull them up where you are. All right, friends, so if you like what you just heard, again, like, share, subscribe to the channel, do all that good stuff. You wanna know more about what I do? Go to eddysand.com and I will talk to you next time. Peace. Subscribe, like, subscribe, do all that cool stuff here. I appreciate that.